I've always been skeptical about yoga. I don't know why. The crew here has been on about doing a yoga session for quite some time. And a session got set up, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. So I met Sally Clinton one Friday after work down at the boatyard. Sally Clinton is a longtime yoga practitioner, an expert registered yoga teacher. Additionally, she spends most of her summer weekends on the water, so she knows about being on boats. All right, so we'll start on the mats with some really simple stretches for opening up both your spine and your legs and hips a little bit. This is called table position on your hands and knees. And you can even just start with stretching your right leg straight back, pressing into the ball of your foot. You can keep your left knee down on the mat and <laughs> press back through your heel. Yep. And just stretch out your calf muscles. And feel that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and come back to table. Then take your left leg straight back and just shift through the heel and reach through the crown of your head and take a nice deep breath. All right, and then we'll come back to table. All right, now we're gonna take this right foot forward and see if you can. Now jeans are not jeans body? are not the easiest. Do you hear my to body popping as I do this? <laughs> That's good. It's right. self adjustment. Right. Okay, and lift your left knee up. Now, if it's hard to uh, have your hands on the floor, you could put your hands up on your knee. You can lift your chest up a little bit and lift up through your spine here. Mm -hmm. All right. And just try to ground through your legs. You got it. Great. And then slowly straighten out your front leg and just kind of hinge forward and lengthen through your spine. Now this is where you could use blocks or if you're on a boat and you're near the cabin top, you could place your hands you know, on the cabin top. Uh, we'll inhale and lunge again and just lift up through your spine. Yeah, try to straighten your back leg as much as you can. Great. And then exhale straight, not that front leg again. Lift through your heart and lengthen through your spine. And then we'll do it one more time. Lift up through your wow. chest. All right. And bring your hands down. Take your left knee down. And stretch your right leg straight back again. And press back into the ball of your foot. Yeah. And just take a nice deep breath here. All right. How'd that feel? Amazing. <laughs> feel like your right leg's longer than your left now? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it probably actually is. <laughs> okay. So take your left foot forward. If you, if, if you do feel really stressed in life in general, one of the most helpful things you can learn to do is the breath. And the great thing about your breath is that it's always with you, right? Hopefully, Calming, ideally, as right. long as you're alive, you have your breath. And so when we're in stress mode, when we're in fight or flight response in our bodies, we're breathing mostly in the shallow area up under the collarbones. And we're actually using like the secondary breathing muscles. So our bodies read that as fight or flight so that all the stress hormones get released and your whole system is basically functioning in a stress mode. And so just by simply shifting your breath into your belly and learning to breathe into your belly and Deep kind of breath. relax your diaphragm, that tells your whole system that everything's okay and it shifts it into relaxation response. So the stress hormones cause to calm down, your whole system, your nervous system starts to, to relax and you get to release more of the feel good endorphins and um, your body will automatically read it as everything's okay. So it's um, just simply being aware of your breath throughout the day and whatever you're doing. And definitely when you're stretching, it's really helpful to breathe into your belly as much as possible. So when we're sitting on the boat, when you're sailing all day, um, a lot of times it's a lot of sitting. So what happens in our bodies is that there's a muscle that's deep in the core of the body called the psoas. It goes from the lumbar spine, from all five lumbar vertebra, down into the femur bone. It goes really, really deep in your body underneath the organs. And so when that, when one of the things that shortens that is sitting. So when people are sitting a lot of the time, you know, our sitting lower at the backs. Sitting the the cockpit, yeah, on the, the side deck. Back, yep. Pretty much sitting all day, you're, it shortens. And that's when a lot of times people start ending up having lower back problems. And I think that probably a lot of people on boats can relate to having maybe some lower back discomfort at times. And this is, um, these stretches that we're going to do help to open up the psoas and really lengthen that muscle so that it relieves some lower back tightness and tension. All right, so bring your right foot forward. forward. And this stretch, you want to ideally have when you're in a lunge, this is called a high lunge, if you can do that, and have your knee directly over your ankle. So you would want to bring your foot a little further forward if you can. That's great. All right, and then take your left knee down and keep your thigh bone back so it's at an angle. 
So if you can bring your knee back a teeny bit more, your left knee back a little bit more, yeah. And jeans are not the most flexible thing in the world, so I need my yoga it makes pants. you need your yoga pants for right. sure. <laughs> All right. And then we're gonna lift up through the spine. Now, do you feel a stretch through the front of that left hip? I do. Yeah. Through here. Yep. And you want to think of bringing your your butt back a little bit, and then root your tailbone down, and that will help really stabilize you. And you can lift up through your spine here. That's great. And wow. you can even just take your hands right to your rib cage, and we'll also get the chest open a little. You can lift up through your heart. You can bring your elbows in a little bit, and then see if you can breathe at the same time. <laughs> it's, it's gonna walk I know, right? <laughs> and then you can even take your arms right up overhead for a full yoga pose. This is called Anjaneyasana. And this really helps to both lift the heart and stretch through the psoas muscle. Great. It's kind of amazing. You can feel it coming right around my hip. Yep, through the front of the hip. Right. Sometimes you can feel the psoas deep in the core of the body. You can actually feel it when you like lift your rib cage a little, lift your spine a little. All right, let's take our arms down. And we're going to slide back, rock back on your right heel and straighten out your right leg. Yeah, there you go. A little hamstring action here. <laughs> and then lift up through your spine. Great, and you can come back into the lunge. All right. Now, what we're going to do is get a little deeper into this and lift your torso up. And now if your knee is bothering you at all, you could put a little, you could either put a blanket under your knee if you have a blanket on your boat, or you can roll the edge of your mat in. So just roll that in and stick it under your knee just in case. And what we're gonna do is see if we can bend the back leg in. Really? Yeah, this is gonna stretch the quadriceps <laughs> and a little bit more of the, yep, and you can use your left hand if you want to be a little easier. There you go. Yeah, that's great, you're doing great. <laughs> Lift up through your spine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. You can do that arm. Really yeah, demonstrates how truly inflexible I am. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And yep. So that's just getting a nice little stretch through the front of the thigh. And if that's too much, you're still getting a good stretch with your foot down. There you go. Yep. You can even take your arm up again and just lift up through your spine and take a nice deep breath. There you go. Just bring your foot down. That's awesome. All right. And take your hands down and rock back on your heel again. We'll just stretch out the, the hamstrings. Okay, and breathe. <laughs> the breathing is, is always helpful. It's key. <laughs> yeah, it's really key, <laughs> all right. All right, and then let's stretch this right leg straight back again and press into the ball of your foot. While my career in boats is very physically demanding, midway into this session I realize how amazing your body feels after doing some deep stretching. Yoga rocks. Really feel it coming around there. Yeah. What do you call that again? Soas. It's P S O A S. It's the muscle that when we're in fight or flight syndrome or under a lot of stress, it's the muscle that draws us in to protect ourselves. So if you're under a lot of stress or you know even on boats, sometimes there's stressful times, it can kind of get very engaged and activated. And just stretching it out and lengthening, it will help um, also calm the nervous system. Let's just rock back on that heel again and stretch out these hamstrings. And you can press through your heel. You can come back to table and take the right leg straight back. All right, and then come back to table. Now, if you, if somebody is um, doing this who, you know, it's either really hard to get down onto the ground or if, you know, you have really long legs, it's easier sometimes to do these standing. So you could do these using the mast. If you're on a boat, you could stand one foot up on the cabin top and do the lunging and the straightening. Cockpit seat, yep, cockpit, cockpit combing. Seat. Yep, exactly. Right. So you can really use the boat. And that's one of the great things about doing yoga on a boat is that you have lots of things to hold on to. You, can, you, know, you don't have to think about trying to have a flat space. You just use the space that you have. So these stretches, the stretch I'm gonna do right now is an, a great hip opener. And you can do this in a seated position. Or you can do it on your back. And we actually have versions that we do um, that are a little more challenging uh, from table position as well. And one of the muscles that can get really tight when we're sitting a lot is the piriformis, one of your butt muscles. Um, for people who get sciatica, it's one of the muscles that contributes to sciatica because it's very close to the sciatic nerve. So when you stretch open the piriformis, it helps to release any tension on that nerve. And this is just feels really good. This is a great stretch. You can do it in the middle of the day. You know, if you're at the tiller, you can just, it's, we're going to have our ankle crossed over. You could be sailing and 
stretching at the same time, all right? <laughs> We're gonna try it on our backs. So lie down, and you just wanna cross your right foot over your knee, yep. Now one of the things that really helps in this is to keep your foot flexed like this, okay? So Open. flex your foot, yep, and yep. keep your, your inner ankle long. And then take your hands around your left thigh. Just re reach right through and draw your knee in towards your chest. Oh boy. You can let your shoulders <laughs> and head stay down, actually. Okay. Yep, there you go. And wow. where do you feel that? Right at the corner of my of your butt. butt. <laughs> yep. Right co coming around the, yeah, coming that's, around the hip right that's here. straight in the piriformis, yep. That's amazing. That's great. And sometimes, you know, you can even move that left leg around a little bit and um, like your knee, like you're drawing on the sky with your, with your knee and just kind of stretch around wow. with your leg and just kind of feel, you know, different parts of your hips. <laughs> you crazy. love this one, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can stay, you can keep your head down if you want and your shoulders down, yeah. And just breathe into that. So we want to use the breath into the belly. Yeah, and usually you want to hold these kinds of stretches for 20 seconds or a little longer so that the muscle fibers can t have time to lengthen. And It's kind of amazing how immediate it is right there. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yep. And like I said, you can do this stretch sitting down too. So if you're sitting in the cockpit, you can just cross your ankle over your knee and then you hinge forward with your spine, with your torso. By sitting upward and just yeah. leaning into it. Yep. Like if you're, yep. And this is a great stretch. I do this all the time, like traveling, if your hips feel tight from driving a lot or, you know, sitting in a sailboat. This is just a really nice, simple little stretch. It also helps your lower back, too. You can feel when you right. reach forward. All right. Better do the other side so you're... So I don't walk crooked. <laughs> yeah. You get both sides equally open. Great. And then see if you can breathe into your belly. All sorts of... Yeah, we'll cross that over again and hold around your thigh. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing you can do is just straighten your right leg out to the sky. Wow. And <laughs> add a little bit for the hamstrings in there. And still try to keep that left foot flexed as much as you can. Yep. Yep. And just draw in. Think of drawing down your leg into your pelvis. And then remember to try and breathe as you're as you're doing this. That's my biggest problem is I'm not breathing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a common problem, don't worry, you're not alone. Okay. All right, and then you can um, you can bend that knee in again. And then stretch your left leg just straight out on the floor. Okay. And let your right knee just drop out into your arm. And this is, a, is just another really simple stretch to loosen up your hip. And you can even like circle your leg around and just loosen that hip joint up. Yeah, and try to keep your left leg grounded as much as possible. Yep. And breathe. This is also good for your lower back and hips. Okay. Wow. Yeah, and then you can draw that knee in towards your spine and just squeeze it in. Okay, and that's a great. And this you can even do in the um, in the cabin, like on the cabin sole. In if it's rainy or foggy days, you can do these kind of stretches and um, you know let your body stretch out a little bit while it's foul weather. So, okay. So we'll switch legs. And first we'll do that other, um, so cross your, your right ankle over your left knee and hold around your left thigh and then straighten your left leg up. And just keep letting your right knee turn out as much as it can go, yeah. And again, breathe into your belly. And this is a great way, to, again, to open the hamstrings. And when we open the hamstrings, it also helps our lower backs. All right, and then you can bend that knee and straighten out your bottom leg. Yeah, straighten out your right leg. Keep it really strong. It'll help anchor it down. And then you can let your knee drop out into your arm again and just circle that leg around and loosen up the hip joint. All right, so this next stretch we're gonna do is also a piriformis stretch. It's a little more challenging. Um, it feels really good. It can be kind of intense, but it's definitely worth knowing about and worth trying. And we'll see how it goes. So come to table position again, like this. And what we're gonna do is bring your, bring your right knee forward towards your wrist, and then even out to the side a little bit. So you can let your knee come over past your wrist, yeah. And walk your foot up just so wherever it'll enough? go. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know, I mean, your jeans are probably restricting a bit, so. Okay. But 
Yeah, you just let it come up. And then it helps your knees. If you press your pinky toe down, your heel can come up, that's fine, but try to press the pinky toe into the floor. That'll protect your knees. You wanna make sure you don't feel any weird sensations in your knees. Okay. okay? You got that? Yeah. And then you can just kind of rock your hips a little bit here. And now where do you feel this? The hips again? Yep. Around here? Yep. Yeah, bring your knee up a little further. See if it'll go there. I think part of it is your jeans. And then bring your, um, <laughs> both your, <laughs> no, I'm like, there you go. How does that feel? All right, do you feel like you're getting stretched in your? Everywhere. Everywhere, pretty yep. much. This actually stretches the psoas again because we have this back leg back, right? So the muscle I talked about earlier that goes from your lower back to the thigh mm -hmm. bone, it's lengthening here. It's getting really long. Right. And then it also stretches on the right side, it's stretching the piriformis, which yeah. is that muscle in your butt that gets tight when we sit a lot. So, yeah. And then you can actually come forward if that works for your body. You could come down like onto your forearms and wow. rest there and breathe again. Try to breathe into your belly so your body knows everything really is okay. And just take a nice deep breath. And I usually, you know, do little kind of micro movements here to just open up the muscles. You can kind of rock a little bit and yeah, just, like, right. As you shift up. your and you rock, shift your weight, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Really get some great stretches. Feels right. great. Yeah. All right, and then take your back knee forward just a couple of inches. It makes it a little easier to come out of and stretch your right leg straight back. And then just reach right through the crown of your head and get a nice long spine here. All right, great. Just have one more leg to do, luckily. All right, so take your left knee forward. And yeah, breathe into that. And when you lift your knee like you're doing, that's great, because that really opens the front of the hip a little bit more. Yeah. So breathe right into that. You, can, you could lay all the way down if you want. And then slowly come up, bring your back knee forward a couple of inches, and stretch your left leg straight back again. So these are really great stretches if you're, like I said, if your hips feel tight, if your lower back feels tight, these will all help. They're great ones to add to a sailing or boating experience. So whether you're on board boats, on the water, underway, or in the shop holding yourself in awkward positions, a little yoga might be just what you need.